Let's take a look at the following permutation problems. Five singers are to perform on a weekend evening at a nightclub. How many different ways are there to schedule their appearances? Notice that in this problem, the number of choices decreases by one each time a singer is selected. So therefore, this problem is a problem on permutation. Now to solve this, let's line up the singer. Let's take a look at the different choices that we have for each singer. For the first singer, we have five choices for this spot. Now once one singer is selected, we then have four singers left for the second spot. Now two singers were already selected, therefore we have three singers left for the third spot, and then two singers left for the fourth spot, and one singers left for the fifth spot. Apply the basic counting principle, so we will multiply each of this that is equal to 120 ways. Next problem. In how many different ways can a police department arrange eight suspects in a police lineup if each lineup contains all eight people? Notice again that the number of choices decreases by one each time a suspect is selected. To count the number of ways, let's look at the lineup. We have eight spots because we have eight people. For the first position, we have to pick first person from the eight suspects. Therefore, we have eight choices for the first spot. For the second spot, since one suspect was already selected here, then we have seven choices for the second spot. Two suspects will already placed on the first and the second position, respectively. Then from eight, we then have six choices available for the third spot. For the fourth spot, we will have five suspects to choose from. For the fifth spot, we then have four suspects to choose from. For the sixth spot, we have three. For seventh, we have two. And the last will be one. To get the number of different ways to line up the suspects, we will just apply the fundamental counting principle. Therefore, we will just multiply each of these. This is also the same as 8 factorial. This is equal to 40,320. You need to arrange 10 of your favorite photographs on the mantel above a fireplace. How many different ways can you arrange the photographs, assuming that the order of the pictures makes a difference to you? Notice that in this problem, the order of arrangement for the pictures is important. So therefore, this problem is a problem on permutation. Take note that the number of choices decreases by one each time a photograph is selected. To count the number of ways to arrange these photographs, we will just have to determine the number of choices for each spot. So 10 spots for the 10 different photographs. So for the first spot, we have 10 different photographs to choose from. For the second spot, we have nine because we already have picked one photograph for the first spot. For the third, we have eight choices. And then for the fourth, we have seventh, fifth, we have six choices for the sixth spot we have five choices so take note the number of choices decreases by one each time a photograph is selected so therefore the seventh will then have four choices the eighth will have three choices the ninth will have two choices and the tenth will have one choice and then multiplying everything we get the total number of ways to arrange 10 photographs on a line. 
This is also the same as 10 factorial. So notice that we have, we're multiplying 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is equal to 10 factorial. 10 factorial is equal to 3,628,800. Now let's consider a different problem. A camp counselor and six campers are to be seated along a picnic bench. In how many ways can this be done if the counselor must be seated in the middle and a camper who has a tendency to engage in food fights must sit to the counselor's immediate left? But to solve this, we will first have to determine how many seats should be there since we have a camp counselor and six campers therefore we will have seven seats total and then we will look at the different choices we have for each seat we will start with the given restriction so the given restriction is that if the counselor must be seated in the middle and a camper who has a tendency to engage in food fights must sit to the counselor's immediate left the middle seat would be the fourth so the counselor should be in here we only have one choice for the fourth seat that's a counselor the food fighter would sit immediately to the left of the counselor the fifth seat will only have one choice now for the first seat we have five choices since two are already seated the counselor and the food fighter and then for the second seat from five, this becomes four. For the third seat, we have three choices. For the sixth, we have two choices here and the seventh will be one choice. Applying the basic principle of counting, we will just multiply each of the numbers here. We have five times four times three times two times one. That is actually five factorial. So we have five factorial times one times one. That is just the same as five factorial. Five factorial is equal to 120. So therefore, there are 120 ways to do this.